How is your trust in God right now? We're in the middle of this pandemic somewhere. We don't know where it's going or when it's going to end. We do know that we're just one week away from finals. Whenever finals come about and we start to think about them, we start to study, we recognize that there's some kind of doubt that creeps in. Why does that always happen? Why don't I trust more? And this happens to everybody, even people who get A's in their classes, even though you know you're gonna do well on your finals and you're still gonna get an A in the class, somehow we start to doubt, we stop trusting, we get a little bit nervous, the nerves set in, and we doubt ourselves. So it's time that we talk about trust. What is trust and, 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 and how do we do it? Well, in order to know how we do it, we have to know what we're looking for. What is trust? The first question is, is it the same as faith? Well, the answer is no, it's not the same as faith, but it's like kind of like an offshoot of faith. It's kind of like the offspring of faith. Faith is kind of our, our ascent of our intellect and our will to God. It's that basic disposition to live in relationship with God. And trust is the living out of that relationship. So it's like this. How many times have you said, or you heard somebody say, I do believe in God. I believe in him. I wanna be in a relationship with him. I'm a Christian. I just find it so hard to trust him. We feel bad about it. We feel bad when we don't trust God. She's you're like, does that mean I don't believe? No, it doesn't mean that you don't believe. It means that you're having trouble living out of that relationship. You're having trouble trusting in his faithfulness. Faith is believing in God. Trust is believing in his promises. Confident that he is trustworthy, that he is faithful. We can explain all we want about how God is faithful. Of course, we're just looking at how to trust him, how to live that out. Maybe you're in a relationship right now, as another analogy. You're in a relationship with somebody in your family, someone who lives in your house with you right now, or with a friend, or with a coworker, or with a colleague, another student that you're working on a project with. And you work with them, and you, you desire that relationship. It's a good relationship. It's good for you. You want to be in it, but you just don't trust them. Not with the big things, especially. You just don't trust them with your heart. I just ask you, how's that relationship going? It's probably struggling on some level because there's not that fundamental trust there. There's not a living out of the relationship. I just believe the relationship is good. What's the hardest part of our relationship with God? Is when our wills don't align with his. Meaning that like, God, why, why don't you just end this? Why don't you just end my suffering? Why don't you just help me understand? Then I will trust you. Well, we have to remember, we have to remember that our wills don't always align with God's will and we can still trust him because, because God sees the entire picture. God sees our beginning and our end at the same time. He sees our entire life right now. And in being able to see that, he chooses our good over all, even though what we are experiencing right now might be the best for us and we can't see it. That's why we sometimes lack trust in him because we just see what's in front of us. We, we can't see the future and that's confusing to us. And because it's confusing to us, we start to lack trust in him. But all the more we should trust him because he knows the end. He's the one who sees everything. Shouldn't we trust him even more because of that? But when we don't, have you noticed when we don't trust someone that we become more cynical? become cynical about them. We become selfish at times. It's our defense mechanism. We put up walls. I don't want to trust you. And that's the danger of our faith. It's a danger when we don't trust. The reason we should trust God now and always is because he's always looking for the, for the good of our lives, our entire lives, even the good that we can't see. And we trust in his faithfulness. That's the key to trust, is trusting in his faithfulness, and he is trustworthy. Today, not only do we have faith in God, do we wanna be good Christians? Do we wanna live in a relationship with him, assenting in, in our intellect and our will? But today, I invite you. I invite you to live out that faith through trust. I invite you to give your life to the Lord through trusting him and knowing his goodness to you. Today, we not only have faith, Today, we begin again to trust.